Tristan from World English School. I'm going to wait just a minute to make sure this is working. I had some problems with the, uh, with the connection for some reason. Sometimes the connection's not good. How is everybody doing? I'm uh, doing this on a Friday morning here in Japan. And uh, it's been a long week. I'm glad it's the end of the week. How about you? It's probably a Thursday for you. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit the notification. And um, here's some pictures we've done before. We've done this one here. Baby David from Grow Up David. Did the cover of Christmas David. No David. This one's from Grow Up David here. This is one of my favorites. We got all sorts of stuff. We've been doing all sorts of art and drawings and stuff. So, yeah, please uh, please do subscribe because I want to do more of this stuff. And maybe this is my favorite here. What do you think about that one? Uh, David gets in trouble, this one here. Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to be doing a Diaper David book. This is Grow uh, O David. And I'm getting all the names mixed up. O David here. And, um, yeah, you can see David's a baby in these books, which is really cute. I like the baby David. Um, we're going to do the, the page with the diaper, I think. I mentioned that yesterday. This one right here, where he's got a poopy diaper. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I hope the lighting's good for you. I try to make it nice. Okay, so it says P-U, and he's got a diaper full of crap. <laughs> so um, I'm going to get out my pencils. This time I'm going to do the same thing I did last time, I think, which is just use that black pen to do the outline of David. Um, and then I'm going to um, go ahead and just do the coloring after that. So let's see. I hope you can see this all right. I'm going to go ahead and um, use the fine tip part of the pen, and we're going to just draw David. And um, let's see. This paper is bigger than this book, so we actually would need to increase the size of David. Um, but I don't really want to do that. I think I'm going to make David the same size. So what I might do, if, you, if you're having the same, um, if you're doing the same thing, what you can do is you can put your book down on the paper like that, kind of line it up, and then you can kind of use the book to draw a line like that. So now you see I have a line at the top of the paper and I can cut that off later if I want. So now I know where the page starts and where the page ends, okay? So now I'm gonna start drawing and I think I'm gonna start by doing David's head because that's usually the easiest. So you can see where the middle of the page is here as compared to the middle of the page here. So the carpet starts right here, about one third up. His head is about a third also, okay? So I think one other thing I might do is draw a line in the middle, just like this. Give me a, a sense of the middle of the page. I know it's gonna make a line there, but that's okay, because it's just like the book. Okay, so let's start with his head. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start here. His head takes up most of the top of the page. So it's going to come around like this and see how well we can do. It's kind of a flat head, isn't it? It's okay. It's a little bit, a <laughs> little bit wrong. <laughs> That's all right. I always get it wrong a little bit, but wrong just means it's my own style, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's do an ear here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. I thought it was worse than that, but it's not so bad. Okay, let's go ahead and draw his um, body. So let's see, how do we do this? Let's start with, let's start with his arm. His arm, or should we start with his body? It's hard to decide. Let's start with, let's start with his body. Okay, his body is really small compared to his arm. And it comes down here, and it comes down here. About like that. And then the diaper kind of comes around here. And his arm is here, so I'm going to leave a space for his arm. And then it comes up here like that. And then the diaper comes around like this. Nice. Okay. And then a leg's coming out here. It goes into the next page. So now I'm glad we have that line for the next page. His foot stops here. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw his arm. 
So his arm starts here, comes down like this. We're just doing our best. I don't have a special technique when I do this. I just do my best. Okay, and we've got a finger here. I'm going to move the camera in a little bit. See if I can do that. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. So I'm working on his fingers now. Let's bring the book over here. Okay, so his fingers look like this. One. He did do five fingers this time. Sometimes David Shannon only draws four fingers. Artists sometimes do less than they need to because they're just trying to convey a message, a point. All right, and then we're going to draw a thumb here. Hope you guys had a good week. Did you, um, is school back to normal? If you're in school, I wonder if it's back to normal now. Here in Japan, I think it's back to normal. I'm gonna do some fingernails here. Yeah, I hear kids going to school every morning outside. And a fingernail here. All right. There aren't very many school buses in Japan. It's kind of, um, it's kind of interesting. Like in the States, we have a lot of school buses, especially for kids that live outside of the walking area. But here in Japan, most kids walk to school. Okay, I'm doing a real lumpy diaper here. And I'm talking to you so that I can kind of <laughs> help myself be distracted. <laughs> yeah, so most kids walk to school. So you'll see, yeah, kids every morning. Wow, look at that lumpy diaper. How much did David poop? <laughs> Well, we know he eats a lot, right? Because we've seen him eat a lot in every book. That's funny. Have you ever had a baby brother or baby sister? I remember my sister when she was young. It was nice to have a baby sibling. I was six years old when she was born. Okay, this looks like a piece of tape here. I'm kind of drawing one. That looks like the tape on the diaper. He's wearing his same shirt, if you notice. His shirt is black, or I'm sorry, uh, blue and white, just like in every other book. If you look at the other books, you'll notice that he's also got a blue and white striped shirt. Right now, I'm just drawing the stripes on his shirt. And maybe I'll talk to you guys about some other stuff, too. What else can we talk about? I, uh, when I went to school, I, I could walk to school, but it was kind of uphill, so it was hard to get there on time if I walked. But, oh, sometimes I walked home from school. I remember that. Yeah. How old do you think David is in this picture? I wonder. Looks like he's maybe just a baby. Okay, I'm going to try to draw his leg here. It's not too bad. Okay. I'm going to draw his shoe now. His shoe looks like just kind of a curved shape. But first I'm going to draw his sock coming out of his shoe, and now I'm going to draw the shoe. And now the shoe comes down around like this. Come, comes around like that. Nice. I like it. Okay. I'm going to draw the bottom of the shoe. It's a little pointy at the top. I meant to make it more curved. That's okay. A little laces here. Let's draw the rest of his ankle. Lace here, lace here. Okay. There we go. Cool. I like it. And what's his head look like? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Looks like the drawing. Okay, let's finish up his shoes here. Um, let's see. Looks like this leg is okay, but I need to be careful here. I don't want to go too far with the leg. Okay, this one's just an oval, and it's kind of a bigger foot. Like that. Oh, it's kind of big. I might have made it too big. Okay, there's a line here. Line here. And then you got some little lines, treads on the bottom of his feet. He's wearing little baby shoes, it looks like. Okay, and then laces here. And then they come down here and here. Nice. Okay, and then we can finish his leg here. And that's it. We're looking at a nice pair of legs there. <laughs> and then let's connect the diaper to the leg. And we're looking good. It's a little different, like my diaper comes up a little higher or a little bit steeper angle, it looks like, but I think it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and draw this here. 
when you do a drawing of um, any character, I think it's good to notice the differences because you want to know what your style is. So every time I do these drawings, I try to notice my differences so that I can improve next time. Okay, it looks pretty good, actually. It looks like I got everything. Um, let's go ahead and do his facial features. So his neck, I always draw his neck too long. Uh, here and here, great. Okay, and we got the button. We got everything, pretty much everything. We might be missing a couple things. We'll come back though if we are. Okay, now his face, we always wanna get the facial features good. Um, nice and correct, um, as much as we can. Let's start with his nose, because that's right here in the middle. I wanna get that right. I wanna make sure these things are in the right place. His nose is kind of an oval. I always get nervous when I draw his face, because that's the most important part, I think. Okay, David's always got nostrils on the front of his face. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and draw an eye here. And then, how does David Shannon do that? There's like little lines here, 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 and here, like that. I don't know why that makes David cute, maybe because it looks like eyelashes or something. Okay, we've got another eye over here. It's kind of far apart from the other one. I'm doing a circular motion on the eyes like that. Um, yeah, I think you can do whatever you want because I think what matters is these little lines here and here. Like that. What do you think? <laughs> it's all right. Okay, now we're going to do his mouth. His mouth, I almost want to use a colored pencil. Looks like that's what he used, but... He goes all the way beyond this eye, and then up to here. And I put a little curve on the edge here, because that's what David Shannon did. And then he has a little line here. Oh, it's too much, isn't it? Well, that's okay. That's okay. It's kind of funny the way I did that. I was trying to imitate the style he uses here. But that's, that's all right. I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with it. Let's do the eyebrows here. These are important. Be careful with the eyebrows. I realized through my drawing experience that if you do the eyebrows wrong, it gives the wrong idea for the character. So you gotta be really careful with the eyebrows. Okay, looks like we did it. I mean, we have the main body of David. Why don't you give me a thumbs up if you like that? Because I don't have a way to know. Do you like it? I like it. Um, I. I want you to remember that I put a line at the top to imitate the size of the book. Sometimes when you're drawing David, you have to draw it a different size than the original, and it's really hard to translate that. So make sure your paper's the same size if you can. Okay, um, any more details? I pretty much got everything. So what I'm gonna do next is quickly, I'm gonna do the background. I don't wanna spend long doing this, but let's go ahead and do the background. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here and so we can see the whole paper. And now we're gonna do the background. So at his diaper here, we have this. Okay, then it comes down like this. Great, I like it, okay. And then it comes over through his belly, about his belly, and then it comes all the way over to, past his foot, the edge of the page. Okay, and then it comes down like this. Are you able to see that? Yeah, I got it there. Okay, move these pencils. All right, then we're gonna do like a dotted line, but that dotted line is green on that carpet. So we're gonna do that with a colored pencil, I think. And then we've got ourselves a skunk over here. So let's draw that skunk. Oopsies, gotta get the camera down here. Okay, so let's draw that skunk. The skunk is, we're gonna put it right side up like that. You can move your paper around as much as you want. Okay, the skunk looks like this. We're just gonna draw him quickly. Okay, his body is an oval. His head is an oval. Nice simple drawings. He's got a little tiny nose there. Nice little ears here. Little eye here. Okay, nice neck here. Okay, then he's got two little feet down here. Cute little feet. And then that tail is important. I kind of made it small, but... 
There we go. It's all right. It's not the same exactly, but it never is. That's the part of the part of the joy of doing your own drawings is they're different. Okay, there's our skunk. <laughs> and the flowers I could do with colored pencil if I want to do that. Great, we got a skunk on there. That's not easy to do, but we did it. I'm proud of that. Okay, let's do P-U. P-U. Do you know where P-U comes from? I always wondered that as a kid. Why do we say P-U? There's a reason for it. And it comes from, I think it comes from French. In French, to say smell, it's poo. I think a poo is a smell. <laughs> I think. That's what I think, anyway. Ask your mom or dad <laughs> if they speak French. I think that's the reason. I wonder. But it's good to wonder about words. As a kid, I always wondered, what does P-U mean? What a funny, what a funny word to use in our language in English, you know? What a funny word. There we go. P-U. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. And so we've got the main components of the picture. It looks like everything's here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add details. So I'm going to zoom out again here. Put that pen away. I'm going to zoom out again. And I'm going to add, I think I want to add color to David's shirt first. This time I'm going to use colored pencil. I did um, colored pencil for this one here for It's Christmas, David. I really like that one. I really like that colored pencil. We can also use uh, pastel, oil pastel, which we did for No David. Um, this one turned out really nicely. I might use oil pastel for the background because colored pencil is really hard to get all that color in there. So oil pastel may be good for that. But I'm gonna use pencil for his shirt. So we're gonna go ahead and do his shirt this color here. It's a nice blue. Okay, let me work quickly here. I don't like to spend too long coloring. I do like adding color, but I like the way professionals do it. When you watch them, like they go so fast. And I'm like, wow, you drew Mickey Mouse in like three seconds, you know? I love it. All right, I wanna be like that. I wanna get to that level of artistry. Okay, we're gonna draw his shirt sleeve with this blue stripe. As you notice here, I've got a hard backing. I'm using this plastic sheet. I think I got it at Ikea. <laughs> and um, it works really well for, it's like an office desk um, covering so that you can kind of work on an office desk. Okay, we got it. Okay, so a lot of his diaper here is white, but there's this coloration, which is a kind of, it's not black, it's more of like a, Let's see if I can find the right color. I want to do a little bit of shading this time. You can see David Shannon's got this beautiful shading that shows where the light's not hitting. And um, I'm kind of wondering about that. I don't want to use brown. Maybe like a darker, this is a, like a darker blue. Maybe a black, but I'm kind of worried about the black. I'm going to use a little black here. I'm going to go ahead and do, yeah, see the color pencil doesn't really do the shading very well. Boy, that's tricky. To use the tip of the pencil, I have to kind of like blend it. Yeah, I tried to do some shading on his diaper here, but it's really tough to do with a pencil. I might have to, I might use something else for that or I might skip it entirely. Okay, let's get to David's skin color. This time we're gonna use colored pencil again. Here's an orange. We have here a peach or salmon. Let's use the salmon, or we could use maybe even this one, which is what? Doesn't say what color, but we can try maybe this one. I never really know what skin color to use. This is pretty good. It's a kind of a, what is it, a pinkish almost, like a tan. Do you know your colors very well? I, ever, I always had a problem with colors, <laughs> knowing like how to use them correctly. I was never good at coloring things the right color draw uh, salmon bright purple or <laughs> bright green. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad, is it? I kind of like it. Again, the shadowing makes the difference, though. And David Shannon's drawing, I think if you finish a David drawing and you notice, like, oh, man, it's different, you know? I think part of the reason is because the shadowing is just different. And so that shadowing is really important. 
if you finish a David drawing, we might go back to some of our old drawings at one point and add some shadowing and see if we can do it. The hardest part about shadowing for me is the correct tool. Pen colored pencils are hard to use for me for shadowing. I want to use like a, a lighter element, you know. Okay, let's get his arm here. It starts here. I'm just going to color it in. I'm not going to worry about the strokes. Sometimes you have to use like a circular motion or a kind of straight up and down motion. But in this case, I'm just using whatever technique I want. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, his neck. Am I running out of? It's okay. I got a little bit more here. Got to sharpen these pencils. Okay, let's start with his ears up here. I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's nice. Bit by bit. Nice thing about the um, oil pastel when you use them is that they um, are really quick at filling in spaces. You can see the colored pencil is having a, it's taking some time to fill it in. I'm just gonna color as fast as I can here. There we go, that works. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm not even worrying about the, I'm gonna add the red later to his cheeks. First, I'm just filling in the color though, as fast as I can. To be honest, I'm not very patient. I, uh, the reason I can do these drawings is because you guys are watching, but when I, do, I could never do this on my own. I don't think I would sit down and draw. I don't like doing things all alone, sitting all alone. Do you feel the same way or are you good at working alone? Okay. Look at that, that's nice. I mean, it's, you can see the lines a little bit, but especially when you're looking from a distance, like right here, for example, it looks pretty good. It actually looks okay. I'm gonna try to fill in some of this white area here. We really wanna give the appearance of, of skin here so that you can see the difference between David's face and the wall. Because <laughs> the wall is gonna be kind of an orangish color. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and use red on these cheeks, and I'm just gonna add a very light, see that, what I'm doing there? Got a little bit of rosiness. Maybe hard to see on the camera, but I think you'll see it when we finish. Or maybe I'll show you close up here. See what I've done there to the cheeks? I think it makes a difference, I think it's nice, okay. Um, again, we're not going to worry too much about shadowing. It looks pretty good. Let's compare. And here's the comparison. We have David Shannon's version. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> we have David Shannon's version and we have my version. I kind of like my version. Boy, that's cute. My version is definitely different. David, David in my picture looks more, I don't know, guilty? He looks more satisfied in David Shannon's book. In my picture, he looks like, uh, <laughs> nice poop. <laughs> he looks like that a little bit. Well, I like it. Yeah, I like my version. I like David Shannon's version too, but I think we can like everybody's different, you know, different way of doing things. Um, okay, I think I'd like to finish this one because it's this one's not too difficult. I'm having an easier time with this one than I expected. Um, what I want to do is use this pencil and I'm gonna go ahead and do the outline of the carpet. So you see there's a greenish dash, dashed line right here, like that, or along the carpet. I wanna draw that. And that's gonna be easy, because all I have to do is do, 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 do. Can you see that a little bit? I'm not gonna zoom in for this one. Do, 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 do. Helps to make sounds while you're drawing. Do, 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 do. Kind of comes closer to the edge of the carpet up here. Do, 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 do. Stops at the skunk's head. I'm going to leave some room for flowers by the skunk. Because if you see, there's flowers here. So we want to leave those flowers, room for those flowers. Do, 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 do. There we go. Finished. Okay. Now, I'm just going to draw some little flowers. I don't really want to do the details here. Looks like there's some... Like maybe pinkish, orangish. I'll zoom in again so you can see. 
There we go. So right now we're doing the um, flowers around the skunk. So let's bring the book in here. We've got flowers here. I'm gonna turn it this way again. Okay, we've got a flower here. Here, yeah, that's an okay color. It's a little bit darker than David Shannon's colors here. But I think it's better because you can see it better. Okay, great. And we got a red. I'm gonna use my red pencil here, right in the center of the flower. Yeah, it's not perfect, but I get it. I understand it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna use this dark green here, same as we used for the uh, carpet. I'm gonna do flower stems with the leaves coming out. And then there's one little stem here, and I like it. Boy, that doesn't look too bad. And there is one more flower actually over here. Oh, let's color in these petals too. Don't forget that. Okay, we got a flower here over here. And then we've got a red center again. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm kind of trying to imitate the flower drawing here. Okay, we've got a stem there and then little pieces of grass. These are just little details that make the book more fun. Okay, there we go. We got the skunk. And I think we should go ahead and color in the skunk right now since we're here. There's no, I don't really worry about order when I'm drawing. Sometimes I wait to do the background because that's the biggest coloring job. It takes up the most space. All right, his face is black too, like that. Nice ears. Nice little red nose to our orange nose, it looks like. Maybe we should draw that orange. And there's the body of the skunk. Oh, this skunk is kind of fun to draw. I like it. All right, let's do that orange nose like this. Yeah, nicely done. And the legs are just sticks. Okay, so can you see that? Here, let me hold it up for you. That's the skunk. It's different, definitely different, but I like my version. I like it. Again, we're not trying to do this perfect. We're just trying to do the best we can. All right, let's back up again. Get the camera there. See if I can do that for you. Sorry about that. Okay, I think that's good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the background now. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a um, orangish, looks like for the wall. And in this case, hmm, I'm thinking maybe acryl um, oil pastel. This one here. Um, so we have this orange here, and this one will be good. Okay, I wanna do this quickly. Well, before I do that though, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of black pencil here, and I'm gonna reinforce, double up the PU like this. I'm gonna kinda of do it my own way a little bit, but I definitely wanna make it darker because we're gonna go over this with the um, oil pastel, and when we do that, it's gonna be harder to see. So I'm gonna add a little color to these, a little bit of texture to these. That's better, isn't it? I like it more now. Okay, let's go ahead and go for the orange. Okay, I'm gonna just go, gonna go crazy. I hope this works. Let's hope, let's hope and pray that this is gonna be our day. <laughs> Cause if it's not good, then the picture, could be ruined. <laughs> I've had that happen before where I add a background to something and I'm like, oh no, it's ruined. Okay, I've got a pretty messy background here. Um, David Shannon uses a paint. So if you have paint, even watercolor may be good, although you have to be careful with watercolor because it sometimes bleeds a little bit into the next lines. He uses, um, I believe he uses acry um, acrylic paint. Um, we're using oil pastels, and it's a different medium completely. You can see from David's picture, like he has strokes, like with the brush, I think. I think that's what he's using. So if you see a difference between your picture and David Shannon's, this is might be a reason, because you're using different materials, just like I am. Okay, it's a background. What do you think of that? It's pretty messy. What I'm gonna try to make this better, I've done this before with the oil pastel. I just use my thumb and I just do this. You see what it's doing now? It's giving me, it's giving me the same kind of texture as the book. 
I like it. If you have oil pastels, ooh, the problem is with the pencil and pen, it's gonna spread that. I gotta be careful here. Um, I'm not gonna talk for a second. Concentrate here. Sorry, gotta be real quiet. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I just wanna stay away from these letters. Mm, tricky. Yeah, I'm spreading some black color into the orange here. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's working out. There we are. Yes, it's good. It's good. Yeah. So, um, the so with this acrylic paint that David Shannon uses, or I think it's acrylic paint, he's able to spread the color a little bit more. So you can see, like around the P and the U, I, it's really hard to. I can use my thumb a little bit, but my big thumb is kind of getting in there. Eh, it's too much trouble. I'm gonna leave it. Move over to here. Do the same thing. I'm gonna spread it here. You see how that's kind of blending? Are you able to see like the the kind of blending that's happening when I use my thumb? I don't know if this works with crayon. I haven't done a David drawing with crayon yet, but I wonder if it works similarly. Maybe even use a little bit of moisture, a little bit of water or something. But that looks pretty good. The only part I don't like is around the P and the U. That's really hard to do. I think what David is doing is after he does his painting, he does his drawing. That looks like pencil or pen there. So, but you know, it looks okay. Um, the only thing I would change is the darkness. He does a little bit of, he adds a little bit of darkness. I wonder if, a brown, I have a brown here. Could we add a little bit of darkness? I told you before I was gonna try some shadowing. Let's do a little bit of bleeding or com combining of colors here. I'm gonna do it where I see the darkness. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda try to create this darkness here. And I'm doing that with that brown. Let's see if this works. I'm kinda bending my paper here, but I don't really care. Just doing what I can do. No artist, just a guy on video. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's a little darker over here. Do you see that? Kind of tried to create that shadowing. I'm not. I'm not really sure how he does that, but I think he's combining colors or creating a different color. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and go for this yellow now. This is a. Um, this is a kind of mild yellow. It's not bright yellow. So. Boy, my thumb is all, look at my thumb. Can you see that? It's got orange on it. I'm gonna have to use my other thumb now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and color this yellow. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, this color that I'm using now is actually kind of mild like the picture. We don't want too bright of a color. I sometimes find that the intensity of a color is really hard to choose sometimes. Um, draw around the skunk. Uh, because, yeah, like color, color choice is so hard in pictures. It's really hard to, yeah, choose the right colors. And I have a hard time combining colors. Do you know what like red and blue makes? Or do you know what yellow and red makes? Like I've had to learn that recently. Playing some computer games and stuff, I've been learning that stuff. It's funny, I never learned it when I was young. So we have to learn things later sometimes. Hmm. Okay, look at that. Nice yellow. It's working out. It's actually not bad. Okay. Perfect. I like it. Um, this one doesn't need too much blending. Um, I might add a little more yellow before I use my thumb on it. Um, but it looks pretty good. Why don't I zoom in a little bit here? And then what I'm going to do is going to use my thumb and I'm just gonna kind of spread it. And I, I'm using my other thumb now. You could wash your hands if you were using one finger, one thumb, and then you could use it again for a different color. Or maybe you could even, I don't know, use a glove or something, I don't know. I'm just using my, my skin here. Gonna come over here. I think when it comes to art, there's not, not a lot you can do wrong. Just don't draw on the walls like David. <laughs> That's the only thing you could do wrong. <laughs> Hard to get that off the walls. But on paper, you can't really mess it up. Look at that. 
Okay, I'm seeing now that the the wallpaper, it's not as blended as I'd like. I'm gonna use the same thing. Yeah, it's, I spread it as much as I could. I really want a nicer texture on that wall, especially like here, you can see those lines. But I don't really have a problem with it. I think it's, I think it's okay. Now let's compare our pictures and see how I did. See if I missed anything big. Um, one thing I could do, if I have some scissors, let's see if I have some scissors here. Here, I got a pair right here. Okay, I'm gonna use these scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the top. So before I showed you, right, like I was just doing um, the same size as the book. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. Get rid of that. Don't wanna cut too much of David's head off, but I don't want the line to, to be there. Ah, there we go, perfect. That's much better. Boy, that's nice. With that um, extra paper gone, it's nice. So what do you think? Is that a good rendition? Did I do a good um, version of this? The coloring is a little different. The only thing that I could do a lot better with is the shading. Um, so I guess what you could do is you could take a darker pencil. This looks like a black here. Of course, David used paint. David Shannon used paint, but see, I could do a little shadowing behind the eye. I could do a little bit around the U. You gotta be real careful though, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna darken it too much. And then he has two different styles of shading. He has a, a sort of black color that he uses, but he also uses a darker tone of the same color. Like here it's a darker orange, not a black, but here it's kind of a black. So around his neck, you see some shading there. Do a little shading, not too much, not too heavy. There we go, okay, around his back, interesting. So we know that the light is probably coming this way because the shading, okay, around his legs, there's no light down there. There's no light around his hand. Okay, kind of get in between his fingers a little bit, underneath his thumb, okay. And then there's even a shadow on his backside, right under his butt, there's a, shadow that covers the carpet and the regular floor. I did mine a little dark, but you know, that's the idea. I'm just doing my best here. This is my kind of my first time to do shading. I'm not very experienced. I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Did it add some? Especially that shadow gives it a lot of depth and we want depth here. He does a little shading around David's chin, it looks like. We don't want to look like, we don't, we don't want to make it look like David has a beard, but we do want to give it depth. Okay. Even here at the edge of the carpet, that orange is a little bit darker. So I might use that pastel like this. This just adds like a little bit of extra oomph, <laughs> a little bit of extra quality to the picture. Yeah, I think I did well. I think it's a pretty good drawing. What do you think? Let's take a look at it. Let's inspect. Started with David's head, and then went to his body, arm, legs, diaper, and then we filled in the details of his face and body, and then we added the background, which was the carpet, then we added the PU, then we started doing pencil markings on the carpet, did the skunk, and then we started coloring. We colored David's body first, and then we colored the background, and then finally we did the skunk and then the carpet. And then at the very end, we did shadowing. Right under his butt there, right under his hand. There's a little bit under his hand. You see that shadowing there? I tried oh, in between his legs, where else? Oh, by the side of the carpet, that dark orange. Look at the P and the U. There's some shading there around the U and the, and the exclamation mark. And even around his neck and around his chin, yeah, and then we also got his rosy cheeks. That's important for the David, the Baby David books. And if we look at other pictures of Baby David, I wonder, yeah, see the rosy cheeks here? That's an important part. He does have it though in No David. He has rosy cheeks also. So I did that there too. Yeah, so I think we did a great job and I appreciate you watching. And if you wanna see more of this stuff, please subscribe and please like. If you know how to do that, that would be really, really helpful to me.
Let's see, I have a little picture here like this. <laughs> I didn't do my channel art. Should be World English School up here, but yeah, subscribe, hit the bell too, because if you hit the bell, then you'll know when my next video is. And I started doing posts recently too. I don't know why that's allowed again, but yeah, I, I can do posts. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna be doing more David stuff, because I know you guys like that. And today we did, oh David, we did a picture of diaper diaper version of David. So I'm really happy with that. Worked out really well. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good evening or a good day and happy holidays to you and to your family. And goodbye from David. Goodbye. See you guys. I'll be doing a, my next video will be um, in, I'm going to take the weekend off, I think. So two or three days from now. Yeah, you'll see it on the live stream. So stay tuned and see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys.